Dear Muji, I've been with several Indian masters and I've, who have led me to believe self-realization will take many years of practice. Yet you and some other Western masters say, we can do it now itself. What accounts for the different approach? Is it cultural? How can I know the right path for me? Love, Anjali. And, uh, some of it is cultural. I have been with several Indian masters who have led me to believe self-realization will take many years of practice. <clears throat> In the old days, traditionally, it said you would spend twelve years minimum with a living master and be in that company to serve and to daily attend um, verbal satsang, be in darshan, uh, give feedback, be checked in and observed and clarify. And over this period, gradually, the mind would completely be transformed from personal mind into mind presence. They say like this. But these days nobody have twelve years to give to anything at all, even in India. Uh, nobody has time anywhere. Even the unemployed don't have time. <laughs> so, um, a way had to be found uh, for the beings to come to recognition quick. It's all one movement, consciousness is doing it. And um, what was refreshing and new, because a sage is such as Sri Ramana Maharshi also, he was also speaking um, <coughs> that what we are, the truth, uh, we already are that. <coughs> Even the old masters, if they had really realized the Self, they would know. But this is timeless, it's what we are, timelessly. Uh, realization is not an event. It could only mean the recognition of what is already here. It's not, create, it's not a creative process, it's not you're going to create a new you, which was going to be so good, it realized itself. It wasn't like that. So many uh, misconceptions were exposed and in the exposing of them that they serve no purpose because they keep the being in a state of waiting also and then some beings were clearly ready to burst open but they were delayed and suppressed to say no it's not it's, it cannot happen like this you have to keep on keep on like this you see so Sages like Ramana had uh, tremendous patience to meet each one within their own capacity. As much as they could assimilate, he addressed them. Then a sage such as Nisargadatta Maharaj, he mostly was, didn't have time for what he called um, uh, preliminary uh, spirituality. He was cutting completely, throwing things out. No, no, it's not this, not, 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 not. So quickly, uh, the whatever seems to obstruct the recognition, the intuitive recognition of what is timeless, was quickly recognized and discarded, like that. So these are also Indian masters. You see. Sometimes in the West, also having more stronger intellectual uh, tradition and uh, uh, tendencies, uh, the, the teachings of the East was grasped very quickly. But sometimes what was not um, accomplished was that uh, the, the ego not necessarily destroy. 
And we have heard stories, not just from the West or the East, of those who clearly had some insights, had some breakthrough, uh, came to a place of seeing, yet uh, they had not destroyed their vasanas somehow. And uh, you have heard of uh, people who took advantage of other, of their disciples also, because they hadn't gotten rid of their own cravings. So this is why we speak that, yes, the seeing is instant, the recognition can be instant, but it will take some time to stabilize the mind into the heart completely. And even if you realize today completely, without any doubt who you are, maybe for the duration of this life or so, the consciousness will continue refining itself, deepening in its own mystical juice. And this is a beauty and a paradox that all of this continuous kind of maturing can continue against a background of unchanging awareness. It's not something that your mind can just fathom, but as long as the, uh, the beingness, the life force is in the body, we will continue deepening. Almost you never come to the end of the, the, the possibilities of consciousness, yet at the same time you are aware that you are that which is beyond transformation at the same time. And this is really in keeping with what has been said all along. As pure awareness, you are the timeless, the immutable, means unchanging, unalterable reality. Yet in this dynamic expression, you are continuously renewing, refreshing. Your expression will change, will develop, become more deep, more profound, more broad, like this. It is like that. <clears throat> so these masters say it will take many years of practice, if necessary. Some people not necessary. They grasp it and somehow immediately they are recognizing, but, but that is. And then still the mind will keep coming for a while, trying to recapture what it's uh, lost. But gradually, somehow the beingness comes on top. And the mind also is in decrease, the beingness is in increase, something. The beingness is in ascendance, then the mind is in descendance, you see, like this happened. Yet, behind this, the unchanging awareness is ever-present. Mm. Mm. So you and some other Western masters say, we can do it now itself. Papaji also was like this. He would not cooperate with or um, perpetuate any state of delusion. He would not console any state of delusion. No, not this. So we were compelled to, to, to see you were cornered somehow, and at a certain point, somehow your being had to confess, Ah, yes, I am the Absolute. Eh? <laughs> Come out of the And something fell, whoa, but uh, it's true. Mm. What accounts for the different in approach? And they're also different uh, you know, teachers, also, they have different, some very patient. and see the need for, for slow and continuous reminding, reminding, because in some way we came into a state of ignorance through con continuous and repetitive, um, what you may call, affirmations into the unreal. And so great books like the Gitas, Ribu Gita, Ashtavakra Gita, Avaduta Gita, Bhagavad Gita, they're called like a song. Many times, as I'm reading also to you, you see that they seem to be repetitive, like a lullaby reminding the self, you are not this, you are not that. Pay attention, you are not this. Why go in this way, O oh mind? Why not be quiet? Keep quiet. Uh, timelessness is your nature, like this, speaking. Mm. Mm. How can I know I am on the right path? Because somehow, it is something that you will intuitively know. More and more you will feel you are in a state of grace, of peace, 
then you will see when you are not feeling in the state of peace and usually when you go to the mind, when you touch the mind, bang, you will know, no, this is not grace, this is disgrace. <laughs> then somehow when you see again, ah, then you feel again. But I can't say, don't say, oh, this is, this is realization, I am realized. No, just recognize uh, that here uh, there is no descriptions that I can say is permanently mine. These are only ideas. And like this, somehow slowly the noise is combed out, out of the beingness. At some point the question, Who am I? arises, and uh, no, nothing is there to respond even to it. See